Chapter 2 More on Windows Hi friends, are you fed up? Please stand up and sit. Then listen to me. In this chapter, we are going to study more interesting features in Windows 7. Here, let's find more about desktop, files and folders and get familiarized with system tools. Searching files and folders This is an easy task which provides several ways to find files and folders. You can use different methods for different situations. How to search for a file or folder from a computer? Try to follow the steps like this. First of all, you click on the Start button which is there on the taskbar in the left corner of the desktop. Then, type a word in the search box. The contents of the folder or library are filtered to reflect each successive character you type. When you see the file that you are searching for, stop typing. Search box in a folder. If you want to open the folder or library, click the search box in the upper right corner of the window and enter keywords for the file you want to find. Suppose you are searching for a folder named videos, follow these steps. Computer icon. It is a small picture that represents an object or program. Icons are very useful in applications that use windows shown in the desktop. Then double click on computer icon and it opens up and shows the contents. For example, if there is a CD in the CD drive, double click on the CD drive icon. It will show you the list of files that the CD had already. Using right click on the icon, you can see the properties of the selected item. Recycle bin. It is a temporary storage area. When you delete a file from your computer, actually it is just moved to the recycle bin. Where it is temporarily stored until the recycle bin is emptied. Let's understand the steps to restore and delete files or folders from the recycle bin. To know how to restore a file, follow these steps. First, you double click on recycle bin icon. The contents will be displayed on the screen. Then, you select the files or folders that you want to restore. Click on restore this item option from top pane of the window. You can also restore the selected items in different ways as follows. Right click on the selected item and then click on the restore option from the pop-up menu. Restore the file by dragging it onto the desktop. To restore all items in the recycled bin, click on restore all items option from top pane of the window. Now, all the items in the recycled bin will be restored. To delete a file or folder from the recycle bin, select Delete option from Organize menu. To delete all items in the recycle bin, click on Empty the recycle bin option from the left pane. Click Yes on the message box to confirm deletion. Windows Explorer Friends, it's an application program for managing files in your computer. It displays the folders in each drive and the files in each folder. How to start Windows Explorer? Click on this way. Start button, All Programs, Accessories, Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer displays the hierarchical structure of libraries, folders and files on your computer and the contents on the desktop, documents, computer drives, etc. Here, you can copy, move, rename and search for files and folders. The subfolders of files are kept in the plus sign within brackets. If you click on, it turns to minus within bracket sign and the files and folders inside are displayed. Checking disk space. You can find out the usage and free space of the disk drives on using the properties window by following these steps. First, click the right button, keeping the cursor on the drive and choose properties option from the pop-up menu. Now, the properties window will get displayed as shown below. This window will help you to find use space, free space, 
the total capacity of a disk drive and also to find size of files and folders. Creating shortcut icon on desktop. It provides easy access to the programs, files and folders. Using shortcut icons, you can open the files and folders by double clicking on it. Friends, do you want to create a shortcut icon of a folder on desktop? Now, try to follow these steps. First, you click on the folder. Then, select the send to option and select click on desktop. Create shortcut option from the pop-up menu. Now, the shortcut icon is created on the desktop. System information. It helps you to check all information according to your computer and it is used to find the configuration of your system, software and hardware components, available memory, etc. Let's now learn to know how to open the system information. Follow these steps as given below. Start menu. All programs. Accessories. System tools. System information. Windows Movie Maker Friends, you have seen people watching movies on computers. Then, how can we do the same? Windows Movie Maker is a video making software developed by Microsoft. It helps to capture, edit and arranges audio and video contents to create movies or presentation. It includes titles, video transitions and effects. Go on by doing this. Start menu, all programs, Windows Movie Maker. Look onto the window. It mainly consists of menu bar, toolbar, panes and storyboard or timeline. Capture video. First, you click the down arrow button of the capture video option. Then, you will get the video device, import pictures, import video, import audio or music option displayed as given below. Import pictures. Then, you click on the import pictures option. Now, the import file window will be displayed as shown below. Import button. As the next activity, select the pictures and then click on the import button. Drag the pictures which you need and drop it to the storyboard. Now, selected pictures will be shown in the Windows Movie Maker collection pane as shown below. Show Timeline An audio clip can be only added in the Timeline view. Click on the Show Timeline button above the storyboard to add audio. Import audio or music. Click on the Import audio or music on Movie Task pane. Drag and drop the imported audio from the Windows Movie Maker pane into the timeline. Edit Movie Friends, you can also edit movie from the Windows Movie Maker pane. It contains editing and inserting features for its perfection such as video transition, title effects, etc. If you want to edit a movie, then come on, let's do these steps. First, click on the down arrow button of the edit movie option. Now, you can see show collections, view video effects, view video transition, make titles or credits and make an auto movie option on the screen. Follow these steps. Click on view video transition option. Now, you can see transition effects. Click on show storyboard button. Drag and drop the desired transition effect from the video transitions pane. Each time you can check the movie progress by playing the preview pane located on the right side of the window. Click on the make titles or credits option under the edit movie to add titles to your movie. Click on the add title at the beginning of the movie. Type title in the text box. Click on done, add title to the movie option. Finish movie. This is used to save your movie. You can save the movie in your computer drive or in a recordable CD or send it as an attachment in your email message and also to a video tape. If you want to save the movie into the D drive, follow these steps given below. Click on the down arrow button of the finish movie option. 
Click on the Save to My Computer option. Enter a file name as Movie 1 and click on the Browse button. Then select your location as D drive. Then click the Next button in the displayed window. After processing is over, click on the Finish button. Now the movie gets saved into the D drive.